Today's lesson is on logarithms, converting logs to base 10 to solve. If you remember, when we were learning the properties of logs, and the rules, if you will, we started out, or our end result was always uh, a log like this. Let's see. Log 3, 9. Had a log 3. Now, reg normally, uh, standard logs, when you just see something like this, it's always assumed to be a base 10. If there is no log there, I can just write it this way. It's always implied to be a log 10. So, when calculating for logs, um, or finding the exact number of them or their uh, you know, rounded equivalent, uh, sometimes that can be pretty challenging. For example, log 3. You know, if we were to, to convert this to a uh, exponential form, it would be easier to solve, like this right here. Remember, 3, the base becomes that, equals 9. Uh, and then we're solving for the x here. Well, that's pretty simple. We know that 3 squared is equal to 9. But what if you had a log that looks something like Something like this. Well, when you rewrote that in exponential form, it would look this way. Now, that's not so easy. Matter of fact, I, at the top of my right now, don't know how to solve that problem right there. But I do know how to solve this right here. And that's what our lesson is, concern is concerning. Now, here's the conversion. If you were to take <coughs> log with some base and some number here, you could rewrite it to where it's equal to the same thing in this way. Log B over log A. Notice log B is this number, log A is this number. Let me draw some lines here, maybe that will help us see it better. That number right there goes on top. This number right here goes on bottom. Now, what, what base are these logs? Well, like I said, log is equal to log 10, so it's a base 10 log. Now, the reason this is valuable is because on calculators, you have this function right here. And since we've got these converted, we can then use the calculator to calculate our logs, even though they're not base 10. So in this example, let's do one we can we know what the answer is to see if we get the right one. Let's rewrite this as log 9 log 3. Uh, that didn't look very good. Let me rewrite that. There, log 3. Now, to find out what that is equal to by using a calculator, let's go up here. And let's use this calculator. I'm going to slide it right there so we can see it better. All right, and, you, and on your calculator, you should have the same functions. Select log. No. Uh, let's see here. Maybe I should do it this way. 9 log divided by 3 log equals 2. If you can see that, it becomes a 2. Okay, now that we've found a log uh, calculation that we knew, which we was expecting it to be 2, and hopefully you can see the calculation up here. Um, let's try one that we don't know, like log 726. All right, so if we were going to, first of all, rewrite this one, let's put it in form. We would put the log 26 on top, 
like this and we put the log 7 on bottom like that. Now let's pull out our calculator. Now if you were using your calculator probably you would need to write it this way or type it in this way. Uh, it would be you push the log button and you'd come up with a parentheses. You'd want to put 26 in there and then close parentheses and then put the division sign and then you'd push log again like this. It would come up with the parentheses again, put 7 in and then push enter or equal. And what you should end up with is, let me do mine, law error. Okay, clear first. 26 log or divided by 7 log equals. And I end up with, now I'm going to round it off, but when I round it, it's going to be 1.6743. Now I rounded it. But that's what you should have gotten also. Now, let's check it. And here's how we can check it. We can take this number here. Let's see here. We can take this number here and we can chain put that in the place of the x. So, let's check this. We're going to take 7, put this as an exponent of 7, and then we should equal not 26 but very close because if you remember we had to round this number from the calculator. And here's how, what it would look like. It would look like this. You would take 7 and you put 1.6743 and we're hoping that's going to equal very close to 26. Now in your calculator you'd want to put it in like this. There should be a function well, you first of all push 7, and then there should be a function that has a chevron like that. It's a little arrow pointing up. Push that uh, arrow, and then put in 1.6743, and then push enter. Let's do that on this calculator. 7, and then where's my chevron at? Oh, no, this one doesn't have it. I can't find the little chevron to do. So, since that's not there, let's try this. I'll use my calculator here. And I get 25.998. That right there is very close to 26, and it confirms what we what we uh, believed that this is accurate all right there's your lesson remember the formula log a to the b and you put it log b over log a this conclu concludes this lesson